Well, Dorian said it was going to be traded, and guess what? Mike Hoffman has been traded to the San Jose Sharks. We're starting to have the reputation of picking up players that have attitude problems and seem to be able to work with them. For no reason, I'm going to have a picture of Evander Kane just here. Again, no reason at all. So, Ottawa obviously didn't do very well in the trade for what they got back, but under the circumstances of cyberbullying and allegations of peace bonds being filed and all sorts of things, they really just had to move on from this scenario. They still have a lot to figure out, especially whether they're going to move Eric Carlson or not, which I looks like they're probably still going to do that. Obviously not the San Jose Sharks. <laughs> but it looks as if that that is definitely in the card. But at least this is one step in the right directions for them when it's been a very, very bad and long season for them. Today, they make their first step into progress. However, when you have such a bad season, you need to pay the piper at some point uh, for horrendous management and not being able to deal with these issues. And today, also the first bill rocked up. So they got back uh, Mikel Brodka, who managed to get 35 points last season, nothing on Hoffman's uh, 62, and also has a $4 million cap hit compared to Hoffman's 5.2. So as you can see, Sharks are kind of dumping this player across. Uh, both teams exchanged draft picks in the year 2020. The Senators trading away the fifth round pick in 2020, which seems like so long away, and a prospect named Donahay, and receiving the sixth round pick in 2020, and getting a prospect named Bergman. Now, the only issue is, is Joe Thornton coming back to this team? Because isn't he the captain and a big part of the leadership group, and you seem like this would be something signed off by the leadership group. I mean, sure, there's some older players like Pavelski and those sort of things that could have still said okay. They, it's interesting that they didn't sort of wait for Thornton to re-sign if he is going to sign there, which I, I'm starting to think he isn't, uh, to make this trade. However, if the Sharks can fix this up, and, and again, we don't know whether Hoffman's going to stay with this girl or if she actually did it or anything like that, although it seemed like she probably did, um, we're not sure about that whole situation there, so that may change things in the next few weeks. But... In my opinion, if Hoffman can get his act together, and hopefully he does, then this is a wonderful trade for the Sharks, who, again, have managed to buy a player very low and then turn him into something. If you look at what Evander Kane did last year, then bringing in Hoffman, this really could be the place of, oh, you have a problem child who can score goals? We'll fix him. Anyway, guys, that is the whole video. Uh, what did you think of the trade? I think it's great for both teams. Uh, you know, Hoffman can hopefully move on with his life and we can put this behind us. Um, and hopefully, obviously, the harassment stops and the cyberbullying because we have zero time for that. And if he is behind it, then I hope he never gets to set foot on the ice again. And I actually mean that. Uh, so hopefully he's not really a part of it and sort of somewhat of a, obviously less a victim, but a victim in all of this. Uh, if you did like the video, hit that like button. Otherwise, hit the subscribe button down below. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, what did you think of the trade? Uh, who do you think won? I mean, the Sharks won. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. But the Ottawa get a move on. And that's... And they shed some salary, which is something they're really, really trying to do. And hopefully, Bodke can, I don't know, score some goals next year for them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you and... Bye!